Hey there everyone, Omega Snake here, and this is a boss request for the Phantom Riolu. And he's asked me to show how to beat Frank of Mad World. Now, before we get started, I got two things to say. First of all, for this one, I recommend grabbing these two swords right here for this fight. Or if you prefer a baseball bat. Just some kind of weapon. Just make sure you bring a weapon that has not been used at all for this fight. And the second thing is... Well, for any and all Mad World boss strategies, I'm going to have to turn off the announcers. Yeah, yeah, I know. They're, they're great, they're hilarious, but... For, well, for boss strategy purposes, they're kind of distracting, not just to you, but also to me, because I can't really focus on what I'm saying when, the, when two guys are talking over me. So, much as I love them, for boss strategy purposes, whenever I do these they're gonna have to be turned off so yeah just a heads up well now that that's out of the way let's get to it and fight one way to make a splash oh oh my ass uh, huh, hmm. Hmm? oh that can't be good oh crap okay Frank well, he's pre he's pretty big, but he's also well. He's not really that hard, really. He may be strong, but he's not very bright. This is this fight will be easy if you if you're fast and fast and smart. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Smash. <laughs> Let's rock. Alright, first things first, make sure you lock onto this guy. When you see him chart, when you see him put his arm to the side, it means he's going to punch. Either jump over it or or shake the nunchuck to dodge it. Alright. Also for that chop where he where he goes across, um, that's how you enter the power struggle, but it won't but it won't execute right at the start. It'll only execute after you actually do some damage to him. So, so at the right at the start, make sure you dodge that attack by you shaking the nunchuck. And that's his last move. If you get hit by that, you'll actually be stunned. So when you see him, see him put his arms, both of his arms to his side, make sure you shake the nunchuck or jump to dodge it. That's the name of this this boss battle is Dodge. Oh, and he also has a ground hound too, but that's easy to tell that's easily telegraphed. Just when he puts his arm over his head. Alright, now <clears throat> Over here. <sighs> hey, you seem to have a screw loose. Here. Let me get it for ya! <sighs> That's how you do major damage. And it also leaves him in so much pain. He's kind of reeling, but giving you an opportunity to do more damage. But there is one thing, though. Every time... <clears throat> okay, let me explain. Every time he, um... Every time you take out the screws out of his back... Um, he gets really pissed off and char and basically goes into a supercharged state. Where he's basically just glowing with electricity. See? His attacks are much faster and do more damage. <clears throat> so, but it has a time limit. So if you just stay away from him, 
If you just stay away from him, it'll soon wear off, like it just did now. However, however, this is also another signal. When the supercharge wears off, he basically used up all of his electricity, so he's going to retreat to his electric chair that not only restores electricity, but also his health. However, if he, while he's walking, this is a good chance to also get a little bit of extra damage in with your chainsaw. Follow him to his electric chair. And then keep attacking him with your chainsaw. It'll prevent, it'll make him only recover like minimal health. Yes, I know there's a bit of a dirty joke right there. Oh yeah, also, let's not forget about his signature move that everyone hates. The part where he basically supercharges the water. I'm going to let him do it and show you how to dodge it. Uh-oh. Uh He's also supercharged right now. But yeah, see? Every time every time he does that, he, ret he has to retreat to his electric chair because he used up all of his energy. Energy. <gasps> Damn it! Sorry, I wasn't ready. <laughs> okay, let me explain how to dodge it. It's all about what he says. The timing for it is basically in his speech pattern. When he says, y now you die, as soon as he finished say saying die, jump. If you jump at, if you jump at around the time he finished saying die, you'll be able to avoid it. See? That's how you avoid it. All right. Aw, oh, man. Whoop. Here we go. <clears throat> hey, over here. <clears throat> yeah, let's face it, Frank. At this point... You're officially screwed. <laughs> uh oh, he's supercharging, but I can still get him. All right, time to finish him. All right, boot to the head. All right. Here we go. You know, I actually wrote a song just for this moment. <clears throat> all around the arena, the hero chased the boss. The hero thought twas all in fun. Wait for it. Pop! Goes the boss. <laughs> hey, Frank, I know you just lost, but that's no reason to lose your head over it. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done. All right, all right, well, that's how you beat Frank of Mad World. Hope this helps you out, Phantom Riolu, and everyone else who's been struggling with him. Follow my instructions, and he should be pretty easy to beat, and you'll be able to get through it without losing a life. Well, hope you enjoyed. This is Omega Snake, signing out. See you guys next time. Too bad, Frank. But I'm officially out of jokes for you.